Hi there! Before we talk about today's video, I'd like to announce that henceforth I'll be releasing my videos every Sunday and Thursday. So instead of Sunday, Wednesday and Friday, it's gonna be two days in a week now because of some uh, other commitments and I'm also contemplating to start another channel so a lot of time will be spent there as well. So I thought I should just let you know. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna learn how to create a comic book text effect in Illustrator, so let's get started. In the Create New Document screen, I'm gonna select pixels from the units dropdown and uh, create an 850 pixels by 600 pixels document in landscape mode and uh, color mode should be RGB. I'll also change the raster effects to 72 ppi just so that my computer operates smoothly and hit create. We're gonna make this design in a few stages so let's start with the background stage. So firstly I'm gonna enable the grid and to do that I'll go to view and then show grid. I'll also ensure to have snap to grid option checked from view menu. We'll need a grid every 10 pixels, so simply go to Illustrator and uh, Preferences uh, on a Mac. I think for Windows, uh, this Preferences is under Edit. And uh, then go to Guides and Grid and enter 10 in the grid line every box and 1 in the subdivisions box. Grid lines can be intimidating, but if you get used to it, you'll realize how easy your work becomes by enabling it. Next, let's grab the rectangle tool and change the stroke to none and uh, add a fill color with the following readings. So red should be sitting at uh, 254, green 205 and blue 4. Before we create a rectangle, let's go to Window and select Info option from there. Now with the help of Info Window, create an 870 by 620 pixel rectangle. You'll find that it becomes really easy to draw this shape with a live reading on as you create it. Let's go to Window and select the Swatches option. From the Swatches panel, go to the bottom left corner and uh, click on the Swatch Libraries menu. And go to Patterns and then Basic Graphics and Basic Graphic Dots. And you shall see another pop-up window appearing with all dots and shades. At this point, go to Window and show the Appearance panel as well. Make sure that the yellow rectangle is selected and add a second fill using the Add New Fill button sitting at the bottom of the Appearance panel. Select it and apply the 10 dpi 30% pattern. Also change its blending mode to Soft Light. Using the Rectangle tool once again, create a vertical rectangle of 80 by 540 pixels if the Info tab can't give you an accurate result, you can update the 80 by 540 measurement in the Transform panel on the right. We need this rectangle to sit at uh, 390 pixels from the left. So let's first show the ruler by hitting Command R on a Mac or Control R on a PC. Now grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle of 390 pixels width and adjust this rectangle. Similarly, we want our rectangle to be at 320 pixels inside of a frame here from top. So to do that, let's make another rectangle vertically at 320 pixels height. Now drop a guide from the ruler on top at this point and then delete this rectangle because we don't need it anymore. Now drag our rectangle to the guide we just made. Ensure that you press and hold shift while you drag it so that it doesn't move from its path. Now change the fill color to black. Using the direct selection tool, click to select the bottom two anchor points of the corners. You'll have to hold shift to select both and then go to object, then path, 
and then select average and from the pop-up window select both and hit OK. This will turn our rectangle to a triangle. Make sure that our triangle is still selected and then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. Check the bottom middle reference point and set the angle to minus 15 degrees. Enter 23 in the copies box and hit OK. With the original black shape still selected, change the opacity to 50%. Now let's move to stage 2 of our design which is creating the spark. And uh, for that, pick the ellipse tool and create a 510 by 260 pixel shape. Fill it with black and place it as illustrated. Make sure that this shape stays selected and focus on the appearance panel as it's going to stay busy for a while. Select the existing fill and go to Effect, then Distort and Transform and click on Zigzag. Enter 5 pixel for size, check the absolute button, update ridges per segment to 4, point should be smooth and click OK. Now go to effect distort and transform once again but this time go to pucker and bloat and drag the slider to minus 35% here and click OK. Make sure that your black ellipse is still selected and keep focusing on the appearance panel because most of our task is going to happen in the appearance panel. Select the fill and duplicate it using duplicate selected item. Select the newly added fill which is right on top. Change its color to 254 for red, 0 for green and 2 for blue. And then go to Effect, Path, and Offset Path. And in the pop-up menu, enter minus 5 pixel offset and click OK. Make sure that your ellipse is still selected. Select the red fill, which is on top. And duplicate it using duplicate selected item. Select the newly added fill and change its color to 254 for red, 205 for green and 4 for blue. And open the existing offset path effect. Increase the offset to minus 10 pixels and click OK. Now let's move on to stage 3 and add some text on top of the spark we've just made. Pick the type tool, click on your artboard and open the text panel which is window and then type and then character. Select the bolden van font or any other comic font and set the size to 200 pixels. I'll share a link in the description for you to download this font, so click on the link and download it from there, just ensure not to use it commercially. Now type the text of your choice that is comical. I'm going to type in boom and make it white. Now go to window and then type and character. From the character pop-up window, click on the burger menu on top right and select show options. Using the text tool select only the letter B and go to the character panel set the baseline shift to minus 10 pixels and the character rotation to 5 degrees. Then move on to letter O and set the character rotation to minus 10 Next move on to the second O and set the baseline shift to 5 pixels and the character rotation to minus 5 degrees. Now select the letter M and set the baseline shift to 10 pixels and the character rotation to minus 10 degrees. 
And lastly, select the exclamation mark and set the baseline shift to 20 pixels and the character rotation to minus 15 degrees. We could have let the word stay as it is, but then it would have looked very boring, which is why we changed the position of the letters. All right, now reselect your entire piece of text and go to the character panel and set the tracking to minus 200. Now move to swatches panel and change fill to none to remove the existing text color. This should make the text invisible, but don't worry, we'll fix it in no time. Go to the appearance panel and add a new fill using the add new fill button. Select this new fill and set its color to black. Make sure that the text stays selected. Now add a second fill using the add new fill button and select it. Set the color to white and go to effect and then distort and transform and roughen. Change the size to 2 pixels and size option to absolute and details to 2 inches and points to smooth and click OK. Now go to effect and then path and then offset path Enter a minus 9 pixel offset and click OK. Make sure that your text is still selected. Now add a third fill using the Add New Fill button and select it. Set the color to black and go to Effect, then Distort and Transform and then Roughen. Enter 2 pixels for size and Absolute option and then detail to have 4 inches and point smooth and hit OK. Next go to Effect and then Path and then go to Offset Path enter a minus 7 pixel offset before hitting OK. Then go to Effect Distort and Transform and Transform Enter 5 pixels for horizontal move and minus 5 for vertical move and hit OK. Make sure that your piece of text is still selected. Add a fourth fill using the Add New Fill button and select it. Set the color to red 0, green 191 and blue 251 and go to Effect and then Distort and Transform and then Roughen. Now enter 2 pixels for Size and Absolute option. Then 2 inches for Details and Points should be smooth before hitting OK. Again go to Effect and then Path and then Offset Path Enter a minus 10 pixel offset before clicking OK. Now go to Effect and then Distort and Transform and then Transform. Update Horizontal Move to 5 pixels and Vertical to minus 5 pixels and hit OK. Make sure that your text is still selected. Add a fifth fill. Select it and drag it to the bottom of the panel. Set the color to black and go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Roughen. Update the size to 2 pixels absolute, detail to 2 inches and points to smooth and hit OK. Then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and then transform, update horizontal move to 10 pixels and vertical move to 10 pixels and hit OK. Alright, so our job here is done. So we've come to the final stage of our design. So let's add some highlights to the text effect. 
before we do that, disable the snap to grid option, which is under view. Pick the pen tool and create a simple path as illustrated. Now using option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, make a few copies of this shape and place them strategically. Changing their angles as well by rotating them to align and fit them well to the design. Ensure that all the pieces are not of the same size for the design to look more dramatic. Once you're done, create a 20 pixel circle approximately with black fill. Now go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and go to Pucker and Bloat. And drag the slider to minus 60% and hit OK. Spread the copies around your text effect as illustrated. Now create a smaller circle of around 10 pixels approximately with black fill. Go to Effect. Distort and transform, and then pucker and bloat. Drag the slider to minus 60% and click OK. And much like earlier, spread the copies around your text effect as illustrated. Pick the pen tool and create a curved path as illustrated. Ensure to remove its fill and add a one pixel stroke. Now using the Width tool, enhance this shape a bit. And then using Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, make copies to place them strategically. We need to do one last thing that we could have done earlier, but I wanted to keep it for the last. So with our Pattern Triangle selected, go to the Transparency option and change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. And boom, the comic book text effect is ready. Alright guys, I hope it was an enjoyable experience for you to watch this video. And you must have learned something new as well. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again on Thursday, goodbye and thanks for watching.